Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the cost of using lambdas. Now, I'm not going to get into all the possible use cases of lambdas, generic lambdas, and lambdas with captures. I just want to talk about the most simple case of using lambdas. And if you've followed um, some of my other videos, I've pretty effectively shown that lambdas can be used with zero cost, but there's maybe perhaps one caveat to that. So let's start here. We've got both G++ and Clang that are set up in the Compiler Explorer. And you can do something similar to this now on the official gcc.godbolt.org. And let's just make a simple function that all it does is return a value from a lambda. Now, there's a couple of things going on here that you may not be aware of. The first is that you can actually define a lambda that, has, that takes no parameters as having, you, you don't need the parentheses. So we can take the parentheses out. And the second is that you can invoke a lambda in the same expression where you define it. So the first thing that I want to point out is G++ 5, whatever this is, 5.4, is generating surprisingly more code than Clang. And this is one of the more recent builds of Clang from the 4.0 development work. This is remarkably more work than if we were to just simply do return 5. And in the case of return 5, even with no optimizations enabled, there's just a simple amount of setting up some registers and then putting 5 in the EAX register to return it back and popping those registers back and returning from main. And let's make sure that these are showing the same assembly syntax. There we go, so we can do a more equal comparison. And kind of ironically here, Clang is actually generating more code than G++ is, and I'm not entirely sure what this line is about, setting a register value to zero. So if we go back to our Lambda code, we can see it's generating a lot of code. And you are probably wondering why. And that is because using a lambda is effectively the same thing as declaring an anonymous structure that has an operator paren on it. So we're going to show that. We've got struct lambda. This is basically the same thing that the compiler is doing for us when we declare our lambda. So we can comment this out and put our return lambda. So we're doing the same thing. We're creating it and invoking it in the same expression. So we've got 24 assembly instructions from G++ and 18 from Clang. And this is both, again, with optimiz optimization level 0. So if we go back to our lambda version, it's like it's exactly the same thing. The only difference is the name of the symbol that is now referencing our lambda name as opposed to the compiler generated lambda name, which is here that's saying essentially a lambda that's created inside of main. And I don't have demangling enabled on my particular build of the Compiler Explorer at the moment, so that's why we have to read these names ourselves. So this is what happens if you're building with optimizations turned off. So this is oftentimes the case for doing debug builds. There's a couple of things. First, if you enable optimization level of 1 for any of these cases, then all this code just goes away. And it doesn't matter if you're doing the lambda. It shouldn't matter if you're doing the lambda. That's interesting. So it turns out that you actually need a higher optimization level than that if we have our own hand-rolled one in G++. But sticking with the one that the compiler generates for us, the code goes away. It becomes equivalent to just returning five. So let's remove this code. So there is a cost associated with using lambdas if you're doing a debug build kind of cases and you have your optimizations turned off. But there is an alternative. The most recent builds of GCC offer dash OG. And I will try to zoom this a little bit. 
so you can actually specify, I want to enable optimizations that do not get in the way of debugging, and that's called OG. So I have to start recommending using that if you are doing debug builds, because this kind of thing, it's, it's not worth not using lambdas or using higher level features that might generate more code with optimizations disabled when you could just be using a smarter build flag. And I don't know if Kling supports it. No, Kling does not yet support it. So I would also suggest at least uh, probably 01 on your debug builds at this point. But OG, definitely helpful, definitely something to consider. There you have it, the potential cost of using lambdas if you do not have optimizations enabled, but in every optimization level above zero, they pretty much go away to the equivalent code of doing it all just by hand. And they are certainly equal or better than literally implementing the Lambda yourself by hand in an object. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.